What's good ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and scooter riders of all ages. So today I'm going to be teaching you how you guys how to put on your grips. So putting on grips, I remember when I like first started scootering, I had just like a stock complete, it was like a Razor Ultra Pro, and the first thing that I wanted to do is to like put new grips on it, because I felt like I wanted to customize my scooter, I wanted to make it my own, I wanted to make it original. It's like, I'm gonna put some grips on it. So I went online and I like looked up, I was like, how do I change my grips? Cause I didn't just wanna like cut them off, you know? Like I'm not, I see a lot of like mountain bike tutorials and stuff, teaching you guys how to like cut off grips. And it's like, why would you wanna do that? Cause you might wanna like use your old grips cause they might still be good. So here's some ways that over the years that I've found that is the easiest way of putting on your grips and actually requires um, no materials for one of the things. The number one way of putting on a grip is using an air compressor. And I know a lot of tutorials show you how to put it on with an air compressor. If you don't know how, this is how. All right, so suppose that you do have uh, an air compressor. An air compressor is basically just a big tank that holds air in a pressurized form. And when you press the handle, air comes out. Then just put your grip on a little bit, like half an inch or something. And then just like lift up the little like flap and I don't know, put, your, put it against your knee or something so that way the bar won't move around and basically just turn the air compressor. And when you turn it on, it's basically gonna put air all throughout the grip and you can just slide the grip on. So it's pretty nice. Fortunately for me, I actually grew up with an air compressor in my house, but I know a lot of you guys might not have an air compressor because it's kind of an odd thing. Me and Clayton, we don't have an air compressor. Um, most people don't have an air compressor. I would say the safest things to do with your grips, so you put them on, no doubt, is to go to your local bike shop and have them put them on. It may cost you a few dollars, but they won't mess it up. My number one suggestion is to use an air compressor, and if you don't have one, go down to a local bike shop and have them use theirs. Now, if you're a type of person and you don't want to use, uh, if you don't want to go to a bike shop and you don't have an air compressor and you want another option, another option that you can use is you can actually use hairspray or deodorant or even spray paint. I've actually seen people put their grips on with spray paint before. And basically all that you need to do to do that is first have your grip be removed from your scooter. You gotta get your grip off and your bar end off. You can't get grips off without bar ends being off unless you cut the bar, I mean unless you cut the grip off, but no one likes to cut grips here because then you just waste a grip, let's be honest. Unless they're like completely destroyed then just cut them off because they're useless. But anyway, so you get your grip, you get your material, and then once you get your can, you just spray it at the bar. And then once you spray it on the bar, it's gonna be wet, but it's only gonna be wet for a few seconds, and this is actually how this whole process works, is when you spray it on, it's gonna be wet for a few seconds, you slide your grip on, and it'll be like all kind of like loose and throttly, and the way it works is since there's alcohol in it, it'll just dry in a few seconds. So your grip will be loose for a few seconds, but if you just wait, like, I don't know, like a minute or two, then your grips will just be on there and will be solid. So ask your mom for her hairspray, ask your dad for his deodorant, just get something that's alcohol based. Or if you really want to use spray paint, go right ahead and use spray paint. But if you ruin your bars, it's not my fault. Another cool way of putting on your grips that doesn't require a hairspray, or any type of spray is actually um, a technique using zip ties. And this is kind of like an uncommon technique. The first time that I saw this being this technique being used was I was actually at Woodward West, my very first time at Woodward. And a few of us wanted to like trade grips or something in our cabin. And at the time it was actually kind of a trend to put zip ties in your helmet to like hold your padding in because the padding would always just fall out. So you put zip ties through the holes and then it would just hold in your padding, but it became kind of like a fashion trend. So like a lot of kids had zip ties just for their helmets and they put like different color zip ties through it and like different like stripes of zip ties. So everyone had zip ties at Woodward Camp for some reason. So I'm gonna grab some zip ties real quick and show you what to do. All right, so you don't really need your bar end for this tip, so I'm just gonna put this on the ground. But anyway, what you need is you need like three zip ties or maybe more would be good. And all you're basically doing with the zip tie technique is you're just putting zip ties on the inside of the grips. So that way, um, when you slide your grips on, you're just gonna be sliding through on the zip ties. And once your grip's on, you're gonna pull the zip ties up, and your grip will be on. When I was at Woodward, this kid like showed this, showed this to like a few other people in, else in my cabin, and we were all just like super blown away because at the time it was like super hard to put on grips because we all did, we all had ODIs, 
the, like the not the soft one so they're like they're like really tough and they're hard to get on so this this is like a good technique to get on kind of like tough grips if you don't have an air compressor and don't have hairspray you all you have is zip ties so i'm gonna show you how it works so first step just put the zip ties through and you basically want to put them around so that way they're all around like the perimeter of the grip so that way they're all kind of like spaced like that um next what you want to do is you, you want to get the front zip ties and you basically just want to like put it around the grip so that way they're like on all sides of the grip like that so that way when you slide it on it's going to be like equally distributed so it's not just like all the zip ties on one side and only one side gets on because then it'll just be harder to put on so i'm going to put that on right like this and then basically you just kind of like slide it on and your grip will just kind of like slide on your bars just like this like that and then once it's on just hold your grip pull up the zip ties and bam your grip is on with zip ties in seconds um and you can still use the zip ties because in reality you didn't actually use them you just kind of used them but you didn't use them for the purpose they were designed for. The last technique is literally just putting on your grip with absolutely nothing. And I thought this was an impossible task for a very, very, very long time until I went over to Derek Marr's house and he put on a pair of grips with absolutely nothing. So I'm gonna take off this grip real quick. All right, so I got the grip. And basically all that you do for this technique, this is gonna take a little bit of time, but it's not like your grip is gonna be on in like two seconds because you're, you are you are using nothing but just your strength to get the grip on. But basically what you do, and you use the same technique as like, let's, say, let's suppose like an air compressor, is you just slide your grip on a little bit like that. And then basically just like with, with one hand, just pull your grip on as hard as possible. With the other hand, just like hit the end of the grip. And basically what that's gonna do is while you're hitting the end of it, it's gonna be pushing a little bit of air through the grip like this. And when the air goes through the grip, you're gonna be pulling it as well. So it'll just go on. So I'm gonna put this grip on real quick. All right. So that, was actually, that was actually six seconds. Some grips are gonna be easier to put on than other grips. Some grips are gonna be kind of a challenge. Um, these fasten grips right here, this is what I'm running. I really only run fasten, envy, or district grips. Those are like my preferable grips, and all those grips are pretty easy to put on. Um, but if you have like a original ODI, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult, and you just gotta take your time with it. Just just be patient, just don't get rough with it. Just use use a proper amount of strength, and nothing will happen. It also helps a little bit if you boil your grips. The grips will be easier to put on. If you wanna know how to boil your grips, go check out Zero Dollar Shooter Hack. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I just wanted to show you guys some quick ways on putting on grips. This video is mostly designed for beginners, just getting into the sport, just some little tricks and tips on how to put on your grips. Don't put on your grips with water because that is the worst possible way to put on your grips because then your grips will be forever throttle. I remember Razor came with a tutorial like forever ago where they're like, yeah, when you're at the skate park, put on your grips with water. Don't do that because I swear your, your grips will 100% be throttled forever. Another thing you shouldn't use is dirt. And because then your grips will always just have dust in it and then it'll just slide around because dust is slippery. And the last thing is don't ever combine water and dirt together or else you'll have muddy grips. You know, the girls will want to hold your hand. So you don't want to be of that. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you guys want to see more videos, just kind of like talking about different ways of doing scooter hacks. I guess I, this is is this even a hack? I don't know. This is just like a common scooter procedure, but um, yeah So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace out Girl Scouts